Bienvenidos, everybody. Welcome back to the NRW. I'm your host, Rob Medina, and I thank you all very much for joining me here today. So with this review that I'm going to be getting into here, I'm going to keep this rather short and sweet, but I had the opportunity to check out the film American Carnage, and I never heard of this movie. In fact, the first time I heard about this film was on the NRW show that I did with Kui Api. When I first saw the trailer, I was thoroughly entertained with the film. I was really interested in checking out the movie, so I was lucky enough to get an opportunity to see this film because uh, this movie gets released today uh, for people to check out. Um, and, you know, I'm going to be pointing out something real quick here about my view on this film. This is a very entertaining movie. Like, I was really entertained in various ways with this film, but I just thought the film was just okay for me personally. The the the, the subject matter that this movie is dealing with here uh, has to do with uh, illegal immigration. So the, the plot synopsis goes as follows. After a governor issues an executive order to arrest children of undocumented immigrants, the newly detained youth are offered an opportunity to have their charges dropped by volunteering to provide care to the elderly. I thought that was a very interesting approach with considering that this film is more or less kind of like a horror, thriller, slasher, comedy film, considering the subject matter, which I thought was unique in the way that they're trying to tell the story of the kids who happen to be parents of illegal immigrants and then having to suffer the consequences because of the circumstances they're in. You know, and I know there's gonna be a lot of people out there who have various uh, opinions on this topic of illegal immigrants, no matter what side you're on, that there's, you'd be very surprised how many people I thought would be very much in helping and are not. And those who I thought were not gonna be in favor of helping that are. So it's kind of a wide range of uh, opinions out there. And when you talk to each person individually, you get, I would say more likely an honest opinion on the subject here. But with this movie, I, I'm going to be honest about how my almost a preconceived notion that I have this movie, which was that I kind of thought there might be a point in the film that there is going to be like a an agenda, if that makes any sense, where I thought the filmmakers would have some sort of, uh, what's the best way I could say it, a, an opinion that will say, this is how it's got to be, or this is how we this should be looked at. But what I appreciated that they did in this movie was that they showcase on how you get to know the characters and truly get to know them as individuals. I mean, granted, this is a very uh, heightened reality film. There's no doubt about that. But the the part that I'm referring to about getting to know the characters is that you're seeing that in this case, the, the, the kids' parents uh, who are illegal immigrants, they're not bad people. In, in the film, you're seeing this. And you're seeing that they have a strong family unit, that the kids have every intention to make something of themselves. In this one particular case here, uh, one of the main characters uh, who is played by the actress, um, uh, who's uh, the sister, I should say, uh, played by the actress here, uh, Mrs. Uh, y- Yamati Morales, who plays a character of Lily. She's gotten accepted to go into uh, Columbia, which is a Ivy League school. And her brother, on the other hand, played by uh, Jorge Lindenberg Jr., uh, who plays the character J.P., not to say that he's kind of the guy that's not trying to accomplish anything for himself, but he's clearly someone who has a very good head on his shoulders where he doesn't take bullshit from people and stands up for himself. So these characters have a good set of moral values that they're looking out for their best interests, but they're also looking out for those that love them and looking out for the well-being of other of their, of their friends and their family. Because there's one scene in particular in the movie where you see that Jorge is about to uh, finish his shift at, at this uh, fast food restaurant that they're working at. And one of his coworkers says, hey, I got to get out somewhere. I have to do this and that. And she, re- I forgot what the reason was off the top of my head here. But she's asking, can you please just cover my shift? And you know he doesn't want to do it, but you see that he's a team player and understands the circumstances. So he's looking out for his coworker. In this case, you would imagine is his friend. And she's very much appreciative of that and thanks him for that, showcasing that this guy has a good heart. So that's a, that's the side of the, uh, the story that I really did appreciate for you to look at these characters in a, in a much lighter, in a, in a good way, I should say. So that way, when the story progresses along the way, you would side with them and hoping to that they uh, are able to overcome these obstacles that they're presented here. What, well, here's what I will also point out too: all the actors in this film, uh, Jenny Ortega, who plays the character Camila, and Aldo Maldonado, who is, I think, by far the, one of the best things about the movie. And you also have Eric Dane, who without really getting too much in the spoilers here because I won't reveal too much, but he's one of the villains in this movie along with Brett Cullen who plays the governor and Jorge Diaz who is one of the team members here and of course Miss Bella Ortiz. Um, everyone, and I mean everyone, does a really good job when it comes to their chemistry. I think they've all done a really good job with trying to 
create a, a ragtag team of like dysfunctional individuals, if you will, that work very well together and all the different set of obstacles that are all, they're, they're all being dealt with here, but work as a unity, despite the fact that they have some really distinct personalities. And these are traits that we've all seen before in these type of films where you have a strong, uh, headstrong female character and one that's uh, also very, uh, you have the, the, the male lead who is kind of like the, the, the classic, uh, you know, strong leader, if you will but has a quirkness about him that makes a lot of people uh, uh, be uh, that are willing to get close to him, if you will. And you also have the the more or less the, the funny guy, the goofy guy, in this case of uh, Big Mac, played by Alan Maldonado, who I thought, like I said before, is one of the best things about the movie. When you see the trailer, you'll notice that he has some of the funny signs in the film, especially the ones at the very end, which I thought was hilarious, where he was talking about, am I being interrogated because I'm black or because I'm Hispanic, because he is a black Hispanic, which is something that is not really delved into too, too, too much in when it comes to films with Hispanics that are black, but are only viewed as being, in this case, being African-Americans that are, there's a, there's a certain identity that comes with that, but they're not really looked at as Latinos. And I thought that one particular line was so hilarious because I've grown up with a lot of Hispanic friends who are black and I understand what they were going through because I saw that firsthand. And uh, I just thought that it, for, you know, it was, it shined a light to something that I thought uh, needed to be brought up here uh, because there's a certain identity when it comes to certain cultures that most people don't, many people don't realize uh, has many different variations when it comes to the identity and people who are black are one of those people, especially in the Hispanic community that are looked at a certain way because Hispanics are viewed as a certain skin tone, if you will. So I thought that that, that one little nugget there uh, changed my whole perspective when I saw the trailer. And then when I saw the film, it was touched upon and it actually was brought up to a degree with another Hispanic pointing out that, hey, you're white. In this case, talking to one of the characters who happens to be Argentinian, who looks very Caucasian, but She's also Latino as well, too. So there's that perspective as well, too, when it comes to the preconceived notion that we have of how people's skin color make them who they are without really knowing their full background. So I thought that in that respect, that was handled quite well and quite funny, actually, to bring light to the situation, but also in a lot of ways, educate the person that's watching the film as well, too, who may not be aware of that sort of stuff. But as far as the overall plot in itself is concerned, you know, um, it was interesting to see how it would all played out. But what I will also point out, too, is that when you come to find out what, what is really going on at that old folks home and why the kids are there in the first place, I actually liked it. I thought it was handled quite well. Um, and I'm not going to reveal it here, but the 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 way that this that little uh, device there, it's nothing new that we haven't seen before. But the way it was executed in this movie, I thought worked really, really well. But somewhere along the way, I started to not be really that invested with certain executions when it came to the events after the fact, even some cases to various parts prior to this reveal, especially when it came to the villains, because Eric Dane is a really good actor. And you see that in this movie where he delivers a very formidable, has this very um, uh, dominating, uh, 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 I meant to say, uh, aura about him. But you don't see enough of that. Well, I, I don't feel like I have, you can feel the threat behind these villains, even though you know what they're fully capable of doing here, but I never felt like the threat of the villains was uh, there, if that makes any sense. I'm sure when people watch the film, they may feel different about my with what I just said there, but uh, it's just something that just didn't really click for me all that well because the actors that perform these, that are portraying these uh, villains were quite good, but there was just not enough weight behind them for me to really feel in that threat, which I think was missing in this film. But despite my issues with in, in that respect, I still had a lot of fun with the film, but my overall uh, experience with the movie is that it's just okay for me personally, but I would go back and, and check out this film because I'm sure in time my view on the film may change and I may actually appreciate certain things that I didn't appreciate before that I may appreciate the second, third viewing here. But again, I say that this film was still a lot of fun and I hope that people will go out of the way to check it out because it is an entertaining movie despite the uh, the, the the subject matter here. But if you go and watch the film for as, an, as a film, I think you can walk away being entertained and still learn something along the way too. So for me, I would say this movie is worth a shot. And those are my thoughts on the film. If you have seen the movie, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe to the NRW and make sure you share, like your videos and also hit the notification bell while you're down there. And also follow NRW on social media, on Instagram, new release Wednesdays, on Facebook, Nerds Rule the World, and on Twitter at the NRW. And you can follow me on my social media accounts on Instagram and Twitter, Mr. Rob Medina, on Facebook, simply just Rob Medina. And I also have a show on the channel called You're So Cool with Rob Medina and I have social media for the show as well. 
on Instagram, you're so cool with Rob and Dina. And on Twitter, you're so cool with WRM. And until next time, everybody, stay safe out there and salute.